In life, there are a lot of oops moments. You know, camping is no different. And today we're going to share with you one of our many RV oops moments. <laughs> Hi, thank you for joining us today. Uh, we are John and Holly with Let's Go Now Adventures and our YouTube channel is all about camping. And so whether you tent camp or RV camp, our goal is to just help you have a great camping experience. So we set aside this long weekend to get up in the mountains and scout out a whole bunch of different boondocking sites. Boondocking sites that would be great to go to over the next 10 weeks. You know, boondocking and dry camping, you can only stay in your spot on National Forest Service land for 14 days. Then you need to move. The problem, it's really hard to search those spots out when you're pulling a big trailer. So we like to scout out possible sites when we're just in the truck. You know, the worst is to get down a long, winding dirt road and then have to back all the way back out because there's no place to turn around. So here's where our oops moment starts. <laughs> uh, we get started, we're driving up the mountains and we're noticing there's a huge increase of campers. And I think in part it's due to the coronavirus, a lot of people have turned to camping as a source of their vacation. You know, which is great. We love seeing so many people out there enjoying camping. But the downside is it's a lot more crowded. So we stopped at our first two favorite sites and yeah, they were taken. Then we went to this other area where you can do dispersed camping and you know it was really it was completely full. It looked like a parking lot from Camping World. <laughs> okay so now I was starting to get nervous. You know we hit three spots and nothing available and you know there's always a little bit of uncertainty until you finally find your spot and start unpacking. So if you camp without a reservation you can probably relate. You know what I mean. So we continue on the journey looking for a site, which in and of itself is a little bit difficult because you're going up the highway, there's no shoulder to pull off if you by chance see something. And so anyway, we're driving up and we, we notice something on the left and I'm like, hey, that could work. But we still had to go another couple miles up the road just to find a spot where we could flip the trailer around to check it out. Well, I misjudged and <laughs> we passed it coming down. So we had to go another couple miles to where we could flip the trailer around again to actually go back and check out the spot. So we got here and it's beautiful. It is. So there are a thousand spots out there had we wanted to spend the rest of the day searching, but that wasn't our goal. And we wanted to get out so we could go exploring and find those other sites. So long story short, we got the trailer all unhitched and got camp set up. And you know, this is kind of a process to do all that. It takes a while, but we're happy with the site. It's a little bit close to the road, but it's so beautiful up here. So about two hours after we did all that set up, we're, we're ready to go out and start exploring for new boondocking sites. Yes. And then we got in the truck and we went to pull down the road that we thought we had seen an outlet for. So we drove down the road and we met a dead end, a dead end that was punctuated by four very large and very mature pine trees. There was no way going out forward. And guess what? We had parked the trailer behind us on this very narrow dirt road. There was no way to get out behind us. So we had a couple of options. We could have repacked up, hitched the trailer up and gone and looked for another site. You know, we could have also rehitched the trailer up and just kind of maneuvered it over to one side a little bit to see if we can maybe squeeze the truck through there, through the space. But you know what? We measured it with a tape measure and that was so close that either the trailer or the truck were gonna get damaged trying to do it that way. Or we had a third choice and this is what we ended up doing is we decided to make the best of it and stay put. So when you're faced with an oops moment like that, we chose to just make the best of it and just go chalk that one up to something we ought to look out for in the future. Hey, and after all, we're up camping. So, hey, what could be better? We're just gonna relax and enjoy this weekend. It will be actually be kind of nice. So, which leads to one of our philosophies with Let's Go Now Adventures is that when things don't always go right, it's about making the best of it and having a good time, which is what we're gonna do this weekend. So we shared this with you in hopes of when you face your oops moment, you'll be flexible with your expectation, be flexible with your plans, 
and make the most of your situation. And actually laugh at yourselves, because we certainly are. <laughs> anyway, thank you for watching, and we hope you found some value and a smile out of today's video. If you did, give us a big thumbs up, and make sure you do hit the subscribe button right down there, so you're notified when we release other camping-related videos. This is Holly, and I'm John. We'll see you on the next adventure. Bye-bye.